Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of December 26, 2022 to January 1st, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing for all the new subscribers, please be aware of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone telling you to contact them with a phone number or an email or anything like that, please be aware those are scammers. I will never send you a message telling you to contact me in any way. So please ignore those messages and be careful not to get scammed. All right, let's get started, spirit angels and guys. Please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. We also have the Three of Wands, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Pentacles upright, World in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Eight of Swords. So in regards to your energy, Virgo, for the week. You do feel unfinished business with someone. It does look like there's some unresolved conflict or unresolved issues between you and someone who you're connecting to. But I do see you kind of blocking this person out with the two of swords. We have Justice and we have the Tower card and Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you are feeling kind of conflicted here with the Eight of Swords in regards to how things ended between you and this person or how things, how you two separated. I feel like you two separated on bad terms. There's a lot of unanswered questions here with the Ace of Swords in reverse. I feel like there is a desire on your part to reconnect with this person with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. But you also feel like it's not a good idea, like it might not be a good idea with the Four of Pentacles for whatever reason. You might feel like it wouldn't serve any any purpose. Or it wouldn't make any difference. Hmm. I'm feeling like, you know, you want you want to gain some form of clarity, some sort of clarity. Hmm. 
or some of you need to say something or some some of you want to get something off your chest with the ace of swords in reverse but you might feel like it's better to just keep it to yourself and not say anything because it would just make things worse all right let's clarify i'm not sure what's going on here but let me leave these cards out two of swords justice tower knight of pentacles tell me what's going on with the um three of wands spirit what's the three of wands doing Oh, okay. So, Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. You're indecisive here about um, sending out some sort of message to someone with the Page of Wands. Yeah, you're indecisive about sending out some sort of message to someone. A message about what? I'm not sure. What's the Page of Wands spirit? Oh, okay, we have the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is about reconnecting with someone or like having a reconciliation or, you know, just coming together with someone. Hmm. What's the Four of Pentacles spirit? It does look like you want things to move in a positive direct direction or you want things to change towards a more positive direction. But at the same time, you're not feeling very optimistic about it, about that happening. What's the Four of Pentacles spirit? Oh, again with the communication here. Eight of Wands and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Once again, we have this communication energy. So with the Four of Pentacles, it's like you want to say something, Virgo. It looks like you want to communicate something, but you're holding back from, from saying it because you don't feel very optimistic with the Ten of Cups in reverse. You don't seem to believe that you communicating whatever it is that you want to communicate will make a difference or will or will turn out in your favor. Hmm. Um, again, Spirit, tell me about that Eight of Wands. Four of Wands in reverse. Some of you are indecisive if you want to recover the relationship with someone or not. Some sort of broken relationship here with the Four of Wands in reverse. Some of you are indecisive if you should fight for it. If you should fight to recover it. Or if you should just kind of, you know, um, stay back and keep to yourself and not do anything at all. Hmm. Okay, so you're kind of indecisive whether you should take action or not. What is um, this Ace of Swords in reverse spirit? Again, another communication energy. Yeah, again, here we go. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. 
again, more communication. So same thing here. Uh, Queen of Swords is a card of, a, of communication. It's, it's someone who has something to say, especially if, in, if it's in the upright and we have this kind of fiery energy um, behind the Queen of Swords which does create a desire to a desire to put something out there, you know. A desire to speak up about something. But again, ace of swords in reverse would be you holding back. Okay, again, what's the Queen of Swords spirit? Magician, yeah, you're trying to manifest something. This is the card of Virgo. You're definitely trying to manifest something or you want to manifest something. What's the Queen of Wands? Okay, seven of swords in reverse. So yeah, it's like you want to manifest something, but whatever it is that you want to manifest, you don't completely trust it. Seven of swords in reverse. Hmm. Some of you are kind of scared to get manipulated by someone. You're scared to get manipulated. What's the eight of swords about, Spirit? like taking advantage of eight of swords oh, again same energy judgment and the king of swords clarifying the eight of swords I mean Virgo geez at this point just say whatever you say say whatever you need to say at least you know for your own you know stability for your own mental stability you're indecisive here this is this is basically everything is eh, overall an energy of indecisiveness judgment and the king of swords so i guess this is like a make or break energy you know what what you say can make the relationship or can or could break the relationship whatever it is that you want to communicate again tell me about the king of swords spirit the king of cups in reverse you know, I feel like you, I feel like you, you feel the need to voice out your concerns. I think there's something here that you're not clear about. And it's affecting you because it's causing you to, you know, go around in circles in your mind trying to figure out some kind of information. And I feel like some of you are in this energy of, well, should I just ask? Should I just speak up? Should I just, you know, expose my concerns, expose my, my feelings? Or should I just hold back and keep to myself and not do anything or not say anything? So we do have the King of Cups in reverse, so obviously you do have um, some suppressed, something that's suppressed. Suppressed feelings, suppressed emotions. 
Why is the Two of Swords here? Yeah, tell me about the Two of Swords, Spirit. The strength, strength in reverse and the three of pentacles. So this is like not, not feeling confident. Not feeling like you have the confidence to. To take action or to, you know, speak up about, speak up about something. I don't know. Spirit, what is it that Virgo wants in regards to their person, whoever they're dealing with in love? What is Virgo wanting? Yeah, again with this with these threes, three of cups, three of pentacles, and we have a three of swords here. The chariot and the three of swords. This is what you want, Virgo. Okay. Some of you are kind of scared to get heartbroken again, and I feel like you're you're feeling nervous. I feel like you're in this energy of feeling feeling anxious or feeling nervous because you might feel like you're not stable with someone. And again, we have all these threes, three of pentacles and the three of cups. You might feel like you and you and your person are, are not seeing eye to eye with each other you're not on the same page with each other. There's no real agreement between each other right now. You might feel like you and your person are like in different worlds, living in different worlds. But I feel like you want to merge, you know, with the Three of Pentacles. It's kind of like, I feel like you want to merge together with your person. But I feel like you have a lot of doubts here. Doubts? I'm not sure. Doubts about what? What is this chariot uh, in regards to what Virgo wants? Yeah. Why is the chariot um, what Virgo wants? Oh, interesting. Look, it goes back to the Three of Swords again. Four of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like some of you do want a new beginning with someone, but you want a new beginning that is stable and that is secure. But I feel like you're you're feeling like you're missing information. You're, you, you feel like you lack clarity. You feel like you don't have all the, you feel like you don't have the full picture. And with the chariot card, I feel like some of you are feeling tempted to walk away from someone, you know? You're feeling tempted to just kind of, you know, let it go because there's too much unknown energy And you don't want to get your heart broken again, like you have in the past. You might feel like this person is not cooperating with you in some way, whoever you're dealing with. Because we do have three, three of cups, three of pentacles that can talk about cooperation. You might feel like they're not cooperating. And support. It also talks about support. So you might not feel, some of you might feel like you're not being supported in this relationship or by your person. You might feel like you're, you're in this relationship all by yourself. 
All right, Virgo, hopefully that made sense. Let's take a look at your person and see what's going on with them. Yeah, some of you just want to say to your person, you know, are we going to do this or are we not going to do this? Some, some of you just want to say that, you know, that, that might be what you want to get off your chest for some of you. I'm getting that energy, especially with the chariot. It's like, are we, are we going or are we not going? Like, is this, is this going to go anywhere or... Or, you know, are we just going to end up being nothing because I don't want to waste my time? And, you know, I want to know right now so that I can, you know, change my plans. You know, something like that. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Virgo is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, or like you want to know now so that you don't, you know, keep investing in something that is not going anywhere, you know, or keep waiting for, for something that's not going anywhere. Yeah, um, your throat your throat chakra seems to be blocked, so it might be good for some of you to release whatever it is that you're suppressing um, inside of you in regards to your feelings and thoughts. You know, it looks like your throat chakra is blocked. The energy of the person Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love. Oh, I see. At the bottom of the deck, we have eight of wands in reverse. Well, interesting. This is the card of communication. Um, in reverse, it means a lack of communication. You had it on your side, but you had it in the upright position. So you see, there's obviously something about communication that's an issue here. You two are not on the same page with each other. Look at the ace of pentacles here and ace of wands in reverse. Yeah. There it is. That's what's going on. There's an opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles, but there's no action being taken to support this opportunity. So it's kind of like hanging in the air, I suppose you can say. What's going on here? We have Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords, Temperance in, the, in reverse, okay, the World in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles upright. Hmm. Some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We have Aquarius here also, and Sagittarius. Okay. I see what's going on. So I feel like whoever you're dealing with, Virgo, I do feel like they're very focused on the material things in their life. I am getting that energy here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This might be someone who's very focused on their work, their career, their finances, their personal stability, their personal goals. I'm getting a lot of like am ambitious energy. This, this, this might be someone who has like Yeah, this is this might be someone who's very ambitious. Um, 
and they they have a lot of things that they want to accomplish on a personal level hmm. but i see the problem here is this temperance card in reverse there's something about timing not being right it's like the opportunity is a good opportunity and I feel like it's an opportunity that you want and it's also an opportunity that they want, but it seems to be at the wrong time with the temperance card in reverse. This person doesn't look like they're ready for this big change with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, let's clarify. Let me see, do I want to keep, yeah, let's keep these. I'll keep the Hermit in reverse also. All right, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles spirit. Uh-oh, not good. Page of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Well, hmm. all right. Well, that that's not a good energy. That uh, this this is a time waster. Then, like at this point, now this person has basically become a time waster with this energy. They're, they're not ready for a commitment. They're not ready for a relationship. They're not ready for anything. I feel like this person, this might be the type of person that looks for relationships to kind of make them feel better, you know, whenever they're feeling lonely. But in reality, they don't really want a commitment with anyone. They just want someone to be there for them whenever they feel lonely, whenever they feel like they need someone to, to support them or to keep them company or to give them attention, you know? Hmm. Why is the Page of Swords here, though? This person doesn't, it looks like they don't trust you also. Tell me about that Page of Swords, Spirit. Why is the Page of Swords here? Justice in reverse. Hmm. I do feel like they don't, they don't seem to trust you for some reason. Which is weird because I feel like they're looking at you as the justice card in reverse, which represents someone who is, you know, um, someone who's not being serious. But I feel like they're the ones who, who are not being serious with you. So why are they looking at you like you're not being serious with them when, when they're the ones who are not being serious with you? Or like they're looking at you like you're you're acting very one-sided with them. But that's what they're doing with you. They're acting one-sided with you. <clears throat> so that doesn't make sense. What's the Wheel of Fortune spirit? Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. I feel like this person is blocking you, um, Virgo. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is blocking you. They might be intentionally sabotaging the relationship with you or the connection with you. All right, Virgo. I'm definitely getting that. Where is this Six of Swords going, Spirit? Uh-oh, 
Eight of Swords and the Emperor in reverse. I feel like right now this person is wanting you for self-serving reasons. You know, with the Emperor in reverse, I feel like they're not really, they're not taking this seriously. They're, they're not taking this opportunity with you seriously. They're taking it for granted, basically. Why is the Temperance card in reverse? Strength in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, because I feel like there's a lack of honesty also. This person's not communicating, you know, what their true intentions are with you, what they truly feel, what they truly desire. I feel like they might be leading you on. They're leading you on and I feel like you're picking up on that. Yeah. With the strength in reverse, yeah. <clears throat> and why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Let's finish up with the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Cups and the Five of Swords in reverse. You see, but I feel like this is an energy of this person leading you on or like breadcrumbing you or, you know, giving you, giving you a false sense of hope. Because I feel like this Ten of Pentacles, it's a card of commitment, but I don't feel like that's what this person, I don't feel like that's what it represents with this person. I feel like this is more of a business or a career, which I feel like that's what this person's main priority is. <laughs> I do feel like this person has feelings for you. I feel like they've developed feelings for you. And I feel like they're struggling a little bit with those feelings because I just feel like they don't, they're not ready for a commitment. So, you know, it's very inconvenient for them to have these feelings for you. And I feel like they are trying to block, block you or like they're trying to push you away or they're trying to intentionally sabotage the relationship because they don't want to keep developing feelings for you. And I feel like that's what's happening. I feel like the more time passes by, the more they develop feelings, the more they grow attached. And I feel like this per person is avoiding having an attachment here with you. But I feel like they're not talking to you about it. They're not being honest with you about what, what's really going on with them. <clears throat> they're keeping you in the dark and it's kind of, it's leading you on, you know? It's like they're stringing you along. All right, Virgo, so I hope this um, resonated and I hope it helped you. I am going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.